Real quick before we jump into this video, the long wait is over. As you guys can see, we are fully stocked with all of the work for it apparel hats. We've got a bunch already boxed up from those of you guys that saw it on Instagram. Head on over to workforwardapparel.com. I'll put a link right there. Let's jump into this video. What's up and good afternoon. Well, really late afternoon. Welcome back to another video. So just finished up essentially work round one for the day. Let me not drop my laptop here. Kick the garage open. And now we are going to go meet up with our good buddy, Chris. I'm telling you guys, one of these days, I will actually take the time to program the garage door opener in the Denali to the house, but I just hate doing it. Oh, let's hop up on in here. So if you guys remember in past videos, if I can find the freaking keys in my pocket, I got like 40 sets of keys and camera batteries and all kinds of stuff. I feel like I'm in a super rush right now. And well, I guess I kind of am in a hurry because I think we all know Chris will get very upset if I'm late. So in past videos, I told you guys I am on the hunt for uh, possibly getting a warehouse, obviously for work for apparel. You know, a nice spot for buddies to come over, work on their stuff. And just kind of like a uh, an ideal hangout warehouse type situation. So Chris is going to be playing a tour guide for us today and showing us a couple of warehouses. So we are meeting Chris here. <sighs> at his bossy shop. Oh, yeah. oh, hey, buddy. How's it going? Dude, it looks like a liquor store in here. Come right in, my friend. Oh, what's up, dude? Are you working hard? How are you working? Nice, man. I like what you've done with the place. Oh, thanks. Yeah, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Oh. This one's for you, Eddie. Uh oh. Uh oh. Set your game up. Dang, Chris calling out Eddie on his cigar collection. What's up, Eddie? What's up, Eddie? What's up, Eddie? I got something for you. What do you got for me? Oh, okay. Oh. This one's for you, Jack. <laughs> no, I don't know. Uh, Light switch. Oh, now you're speaking my language. Oh my God, I want them both. Well, here's your seat. No, 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 easy guy. Oh. We don't roll like that anymore. Oh. Yeah. Anymore. What? Ha. Ha. Remember back in the day, I don't even know if I want to tell the story. We're cool. big into, we're big into riding 50s. Mm -hmm. We had our own uh, sweet 50 track. Mm -hmm. And we decided we should go through that track doubles one day. Didn't we? You don't remember that? No, I don't. Yeah, all right, well, then it never happened. Oh, don't ask until. That was, yeah, I probably should have told that yeah. story. Which one do you want, though? I like the black one because it's timeless, but when I saw the white one at the dealership one day, I fell in love with that matte white. No, no, that one's got, like, navigation, so I'll take that one. Oh, this one's got a better sound system, though, it looks like. I think we should do a photo shoot with our trucks. Black and white, black and white? Black and white, black and white. Uh, square footage of this warehouse is 2,000. Just the, the warehouses. Just the warehouse. Yeah. Not including the front office. Not including the front office. Yeah, dude, we're gonna need some space, man. We're gonna need at least two thousand. So when I envision a warehouse for us, I envision like, you know, a lift. This guy's envisioning fantasy, fantasy factory. Well, no, I'm trying to scale it down. Like fifty thousand square feet. I'm trying to scale it down. Oh, we okay. need a lift that could fit, you know, a crew cab long bed truck. So that's gonna take up like, from where I'm standing to. <laughs> the forklift area. All right, and then we need work for it space for work for it storage, work for it uh, packaging center and all that, but it has to be kind of away from where the work's getting done so there's not like getting dusted out and all that. A uh, little bit of office space would be cool, hangout space would be cool. Uh, just like a nice area, like a quiet area we can film kind of like we do at work for it world headquarters. So I'm not saying we couldn't do it with, with this size, but you start to envision a couple of a couple of trucks in here, and it starts to get pretty small really quick. I mean, cars are no big deal. Oh. I like the exhaust fan there to get the exhaust fumes out for the bikes. Oh, you like that? Yeah, it's pretty slick. I do like that. You know what you're doing, buddy? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I see you got your riding boots on. You're good to go. Uh, something. Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, you got it, buddy. For my next trick. For your next trick. Hey, 
Hey buddy, what do we got in the fridge? Dude, who drinks LaCroix? That's gross. You want a Mexican Coke? I do. I do. I'm gonna grab one out of the middle. I'm gonna like, screw up Eddie's OCD right there. Stay still. I can't stay still. What are we doing? Are we setting the alarm? Yeah. Oh no. What if I have to sneeze? <laughs> oh jeez. Go, 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 go. Huh. We can walk to the first one, right? We can walk to the first one. Alright. So we're actually looking. Uh, well, the first one we're going to look at here is in the same complex as the setup Chris is at here. So we'd essentially be neighbors, buddy. Wouldn't that be exciting? Super, Super exciting. This one right here, I think it's 1,400 square feet. Just warehouse? No, that's everything. That's warehouse and office? Mm -hmm. That sounds small. <laughs> it's small. Okay. Just like your story of my life. This guy. Chris, you're so important, man. You got keys to everything. Don't ask him to. Don't ask him to. Oh, little office. There's a little office. This is a pretty little office. Oh, you need a oh. desk. Uh, this is like 12 by 10. No, it's bigger. 10, 10 by 10. Nah. Yeah. This is bigger. It's 10 by 12. Yeah, no. All right, now into the most important section for us. Warehouse. Ooh. Yeah, this is... Hello! You know how to yodel? No. Come on, I thought you were going to try. No, Come on. I was. <laughs> Here's what I was thinking. All right, what are you thinking? I was thinking, you know, your decal machine, you know, inventory. Inventory? My truck. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Your oh, truck. No, no, back up, back up. Uh, what? Back up. I got... No, but, no. I got decal machine, work forward inventory, and I lost you after that. My truck. What? How much are you paying rent for this warehouse? I'm getting you this warehouse. Allegedly. My truck. Yours. We're not gonna put it like half pipe and freaking. I mean, we, if you want to build a second story, we can build a second story up here. What are we gonna do with like drift trikes? You know, we got a drift trike through the area. <laughs> Come on, dude. I got, I got another one for you. You got a bigger one? I got a bigger one for you. Well, I mean, I'm envisioning this. Like, if this was worst case scenario, you wouldn't have a lift. No, we, we can fit a lift. Absolutely. This area is actually pretty big for a lift. Okay, but mm -hmm. realistically, I was thinking, your office shit, set up a nice, nice workbench right here. Go. Inventory, going down this line. Your, oh, your my lift. Sweetie, my sweetie, pretty press. Your lift. Yeah, I can totally see the lift there. Well, the good thing about a lift is if it was like the right size lift, like yeah, you could park your truck in the lift. Park truck. Yeah, I don't know, man. I think this one's a little. Almost. So to me, like I thought, two thousand square foot is like our bare minimum, but obviously, like we're on a budget, and these places get expensive really quick. I'd be curious to know what the rest of the country is, because I imagine we're in like the highest bracket of cost per square foot. These are about like a buck fifty, a buck sixty-five per square foot plus triple net. Um, which adds like another 15 cents a square foot. So it adds up really quick. And even at 2,000 square feet, like you're really pushing an expensive bill every month. But seeing, was it 1,700? Yes. Yeah. 14. 14. Oh. Oh, we're 17. Huh? Maybe we could live with 1,700. 1,400 is a little small. I got, huh? I got one for you, man. Yeah. Is this, is this the one or what? This is the one. Well, then let's go. Let's go. Can we walk? No, we can't walk. Okay, okay. So I think it's safe to say, buddy, 1,400 square feet. It's a little, uh, little too small for us. But Chris is promising this next one we're going to fall in love with. We got to drive to, which means we're not going to be as close as neighbors. You got this, buddy. Huh? You got this, buddy. Uh, lefty, locky, righty, loosey. Oh, heard oh, geez, this guy. Whoa. Oh, back in the truck here to drive over to the other one. I'm telling you guys, Chris keeps saying we're gonna love this one, so we'll see if he's right. Hey, so why don't you do a U turn and uh, follow me? Uh, yeah, about that U turn, buddy. It's gonna be about a. Uh, nah, I think you got it. Uh, I'll, I'll go around the block and I'll follow you. Okay, yeah, just turn around to the, right where this car is. Yeah, just flip, flip the bitch right Yeah, let me. I'll go all the way around that building and I'll come back around. Turning radius problems, bro. Oh, hey, buddy. Hey. 
Round number two or what? Round number two. Oh, we got some flooring going in this one, huh? They're getting it ready for me? They're getting ready. Here's a little front desk area, you know. A little, little receptionist? Yep. All right. Get Eddie or Dave to sit here. Oh, I think Dave would love this spot. Well, this is a good size. Office number one, you know. All right, all right. Now we're getting better looking. Let's see if we can stack some shelves in here. No, 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 no. No? We'll stack the shelves upstairs. Oh, we got an upstairs. We got an upstairs. Well then, what are we doing downstairs? We got two bathrooms. We got two bathrooms. Nice. Oh man, that's a beautiful toilet. Cemetery. Ooh. That's pretty nice of here. It's actually a really good size. Man, we can blow out a door right there. It has been there. Our next door's got an upper deck. We ripped it out. Oh. Be a sweet view for. Yeah, I think it would actually like knock this wall out and go back to open. I don't, I don't like this closed in wall area right here. I think this would be a lot better. I mean, clearly it was open at one time with that railing. Wait, we'll go check out the warehouse. Ooh. This is big. This is really big. Why is that door so narrow? <laughs> like what the? <laughs> that whole thing opens this way. Does it sideways? Yeah. I was gonna say. That's like a five and a half foot roll up door. What's the point of that? I feel like I'm in a bowling alley though. Like you get a little bowling alley feel to this place. What is it like? Twenty feet wide? What it looks like. Yeah. Wanna count? Alright, we can count. Let's see. Ready? One, two, three, uh, uh, four, nineteen. Twenty. I like it, man. I just wish it was a little bit wider. A little wider. Like, I almost feel claustrophobic. Like like the walls are too like this is a racquetball court. Twenty five hundred square feet, twenty percent of it is office. 20% office. And this one. Do the math for me real quick. This one is a uh, buck 35. All right, do that math for me. You're looking at like 3,200 bucks. 3,200 bucks plus I'm guessing triple net, probably. So you're probably back to a, a buck 50. Right, nice deck up there. Yep. Little, little, sli little slide right here, going down right here. Little Ooh, slide? Slide? slide. Well, it'll be cool, so if we blow out a wall there, Cause I don't like, you know, currently right now, we're constantly carrying inventory upstairs. And obviously if we have all our in inventory upstairs, it's gonna suck. Elevator? No, oh. forklift to our deck with all of our inventory and it's already upstairs at that point. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Which means, you know, now we need to buy a forklift. And I'm okay with that, Chris. I know a guy. You know a guy? You I got a forklift guy? guy? I got a forklift guy. I don't know. Right next to the dumpster. Dude. It's actually kind of nice, actually. Yeah. Oh, dude, we got a bounce house guy over there. Yep. Dude, you think what I'm thinking? Mm -hmm. Bounce house right there. Jump off the upper deck. Upper deck onto the bounce house. Mm -hmm. Let's see that working. I don't know, man. For the price they want a month, um, I want paint that sticks to the door. This is, this is ridiculous. I know a guy. You know a guy? I know a guy. Oh, you got a guy for everything. I thought I had a guy for everything. Well, that's what I'm thinking. So we have the upper deck. Obviously, truck can't be underneath the deck. Yours could. Mine can't. Yours would fit underneath the deck. But we could have totally lined those benches or lined those walls with workbenches underneath the deck area. The deck would probably come out to that line on the concrete right there. It's probably about 12 feet off the wall. I could see it happening. It's just a matter of do we wait for something a little bit bigger to come along? The problem is, and you know more than I know, these things don't last very long. You gotta jump quick and listen to the market. I don't know, buddy. We'll have to see, man. We will have to see. But hey, I appreciate you being our tour guide today. Oh, no problem. And you know, somehow getting us access to pretty much everything we want to go look at. I know that. I want to go look. What's in that van? Can you give me access into that van? 
Huh. Well, guys, uh, as you can see, the, the warehouse thing's kind of getting serious, and I'm on the hunt for the right one. It's got to be, you know, in a decent location to where we're going to want to go there, we're going to want to hang out there, our friends are going to want to come and hang out there. So that's kind of why, like, I'm really shopping in a, in a real tight area, and that really narrows it down to these are more expensive and they're smaller. Um, we could branch out a little further and get a little bit bigger and cheaper, but I don't think the area is going to work out well for us. So we'll see. We've got a lot to consider. We've got, uh, you know, obviously numbers is a big thing, and these places are not cheap. Right, buddy? Unless Chris wants to pitch in. I'll pitch in a little something, something. Oh, what? Yep, uh, 25 cents a foot. So my truck's... Uh... Yeah, 25 cents a foot. We're 2,500 square feet here. Dang, dude. We'll see. We'll see what ends up happening. Uh, we might have to tour a couple more warehouses, see what Chris can get us into. Mm -hmm. As always, thank you guys so much for watching my channel. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please click the subscribe button now that we do not miss out on any future content. Like, why are you whispering? Why am I whispering? Because yeah. it's, it's quiet out here. It's quiet hour. Oh. oh. oh treehouse? Dude, we could build a treehouse, huh? Don't forget to give this video a like, a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out WorkForTheParrel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you gotta be willing to work for it. That was the least enthusiastic work for it I ever heard. You guys are the best. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video. Roll the outro. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh.